All right, thanks for watching and I have a really cool problem for you today because I want to illustrate how to find a matrix of a linear transformation but with respect to an abstract basis. So consider the following linear transformation. T takes a two by two matrix as an input and spits out another two by two matrix resulting by multiplying this fixed matrix 1, 2, 3, 4 to the left by A. For example, let me illustrate that. Let's take T out of 1, 0, 2, 1. Well, that is 1, 2, 3, 4 and 1, 0, 2, 1. And that just becomes 1, so 5, 2, 3 plus 8, 11, and 4. So you see, it's a linear transformation that takes a matrix as an input and spits out the matrix. Okay. So, and what is the goal here? The goal is find a matrix of T of T with respect to the basis to the basis so B so the input basis equals to the output basis here 1 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 1 0 and 0 0 0 1 Notice, in fact, we can write all two by two matrices in terms of those building blocks. So that's good. And again, before, how would we find the matrix of a linear transformation? You know, we calculated something like t of 1, 0, t of 0, 1. It's the same thing here. You calculate t of 1, 0, 0, 0, t of 0, 1, 0, 0 t of 0, 0, 1, 0, and t of 0, 0, 0, 1. So let's do that. So t of uh, 1, 0, 0, 0, that's 1, 2, 3, 4 times 1, 0, 0, 0. And if you calculate that, you get 1, 0, 3, 0. But be super careful. You might be tempted just to say, well, the matrix is 1, 3, 0, 0. No, 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 no. You have to be very careful. Because what you have to do, you have to write your result in terms of B again. So how can you write this matrix in terms of 1, 0, 0, 0, uh, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0 and 0, 0, 0, 1. Well, notice it's 1 times 1, 0, 0, 0, plus 0 times 0, 1, 0, 0, plus 3 times 0, 0, 0, 1. Sorry, 3 times 0, 0, 1, 0, plus 0 times 0, 0, 0, 1. Which means the first column of your matrix will be 1, 0, 3, 0. And you see, and three other columns. To figure out the other columns, we have to calculate T of this, T of this, and T of that. So let's do that. T of 0, 1, 0, 0. That's 1, 2, 3, 4. And 0, 1, 0, 0. Which is, so 0, 1. Let me just, okay, 1. 0 and 4. No, oh, and, and 3. Mm -hmm. yeah, 3. And again, you have to write it in terms of your basis vectors. So 0 times no, 1, 0, 0, 0, plus 1, times 0, 1, 0, 0, plus 0, times 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, plus 3, times 0, 0, 0, 1. So the point is the second column becomes 0, 1, 0, 3. Okay, let's continue.
Luckily, you can fast forward if you're bored. So, zero, zero, one, zero. So, it's one, two, three, four. Zero, zero, one, zero. And then you get, so, two, zero, four, zero. And then you do the same thing. You write it in terms of your basis vectors. And you find that the columns are two, zero, four, zero. Because it's two times this matrix plus zero times this matrix plus four times this matrix plus zero times this matrix. Lastly, let's do T of zero, zero, one. That's one, two, three, four. And zero, 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 one. Well, if you do that, we get zero, two, zero, four. And then that just becomes zero, two, zero, four. Very good. And then you just put everything together. So what is the matrix of T with respect to B? Well, the first column was one, zero, three, zero. The second column was zero, one, zero, three. The third column was two, zero, four, zero. And the last column is zero, two, zero, four. Ta-da! And this is the matrix of T with respect to the basis B. How cool is that? So it's a matrix of matrices. And what this really means is if you take a matrix A as an input and you identify it with the coefficients, so if you take, take for example, um, 1, 5, minus 6, 0, and you think of it as the vector 1, 5, minus 6, 0, and you apply the matrix of T to this, you get another vector, let's say, I don't know, 1, 6, minus 7, 8. That just means your actual result will be 1, 6, minus 7, 8. So it provides us with a neat way of calculating you know, the values of a linear transformation. Sort of going from the abstract matrices to the concrete vectors. All right, I hope you like this cute matrix extravaganza. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.